What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach and I'm an owner and operator of a small HVAC company based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Now, today's video is gonna be about where I go out and I repair some duct work that I found on a service call last week. Now, this is a new customer of mine and I originally went out there because they were having some humidity problems and they had a, an existing company come out and they just added some refrigerant to it. So, when I went out there, took a look at the system, I found that the installation, all the duct work in the attic, there was huge gaps on the return box, all the uh, flat taps on the plenum side, the supply side, they were all just stuck on there. There was no screws. Basically, really was not installed properly. There was a lot of air gaps. So basically told the customer, let's just kind of start from scratch on the duct side. So I went ahead and ordered new plenum boxes on the return, a new plenum box for the supply and then just basically rehooked everything back up, make sure it was good and sealed, and then check the system from there. That's enough talking. Let's do some work.
All right, this duct system looks way better now. We got that return box replaced, the supply box replaced, all the existing flex lines reattached and sealed properly. So we're good to go there. As you can tell in the video, once I started it up, found the system overcharged and I had to remove about a pound and a half refrigerant to get the superheat where it needed to be. Now I charge by superheat because this system has a fixed orifice or a piston for its metering device. So you always wanna charge by superheat with that type of system. Now I'm gonna put up a screenshot of my measure quick parameters so you can kind of see what I was dealing with. Now I was really happy with the temperature drop. I also checked the total external static pressure just to make sure airflow, everything was looking good. We're good there as well. So I'm super happy with this system. Everything turned out well and it's running like it should. The customer's happy. And that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the process. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you later. What do you guys think about this new black on black HVAC tactical hat? Pretty sweet, huh? Now this one's not available yet, but go check out their website. Use promo code QUALITYHVAC to save yourself 10%. See you guys later.